Welcome back to another video. It is Christmas Eve, which means only one thing. Santa! Santa! Oh my God! No, it means it's festive 500 times. So eight days to tick off 500 kilometers. I did this last year and really enjoyed it. And if you want like a top excuse to give the wife, of why you need to go out and ride your bike. Yes, that you've got to do 500 kilometers in eight days. <laughs> but in all honesty, I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to complete it this year because the main focus is cross. So I have got some training to do and I'm just going to try and do it through my training. If I don't do it, I don't do it. But I've ticked off some Ks this morning and now the rocket is with me and she is not happy. Someone disliked her crash video. She is gonna hunt you down and find you. <laughs> I don't know who you are. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. But you know, Christmas is my favorite time of year. Now hear me out if you don't like Christmas because the reason why it's the best time of year, there is no other time in the year where you can eat a tub of heroes and a packet of crisps for dinner and it'd be acceptable. And no one bats an eyelid if you want to go big and smash the food. And that is what I'm about. So first things first, there's only one way to start this festive 500 and it's a trip to the bakery with the rocket. And we're going to be meeting Gravel, Granny and Dad. Huh? And well, potentially Ben, it was a yes yesterday, but you know, he would have had to get up early. <laughs> Cakes destroyed. <laughs> but most importantly, guess who's back, back, back again? It's Gravel Granny! And we're on a mad dash to get home and then actually go back to the bakery to pick up Gravel Granny's birthday cake because it's her birthday on Christmas Day. 26 tomorrow! Can you believe it? Take no prisoners, Rocket. Take the Dell man down. <laughs> I'll tell you what, a nice easy Christmas Eve ride has turned into a smash fest. It's all right, Dad will blow in a minute. I can see him up there. And the Rocket's eyeing up the next climb. Me and Gravel Granny are playing the long game. Here we go, Sarah can take this now. Go on, Rocket, close that gap down. She gonna do Dell? Go on. Do him! Do him, Rocket. Take no prisoners. He's blown. He's blown. God, he's blown up! <laughs> Look at her go. Little hill in her element. That's another name taken for the Rocket. Just smoked Del Boy up that climb, didn't she? Look at her. Look at that grin. Next on the agenda. Smash the maggot. Go on, Rocket. It's your time to shine. Mountain biker versus road cyclist versus gravel granny. <laughs> the Rocket's not happy with the gradient. It's not quite steep enough for her. Dell's gone for an early attack. Sit in there. Work, Sarah. Come on. You can do this. Look, it's about to kick up. Come on. Go on, Rocket. Do him! Go! We take that victory. How does it feel being the fastest Coppola? <laughs> I can tell the old boy that he's spinning. He's, he's worried. He's worried about another attack from the rocket. <laughs> So the greatest part about today's ride, there's two things. Firstly, Gravel Granny should actually be in Lanzarote now, sunning it up. Instead, she's in Casa del Hampshire, baby, in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just told me that she's booked her first bike packing adventure in March. Madness, she's gonna be freezing. <laughs> Women's only introduction to bike packing. 
with I think it's with Sisters in the Wild. Gravel Granny's taking it up a level now. She bought me a book for my birthday, which was like bike packing routes, and I think it was a hint. I don't know if I've got it in me. I don't think Gravel Granny's quite convinced me yet that I should be going bike packing. Uh, firstly, she's just said you got to dig a hole for your toilet. That's a note. And my biggest fear, right, is I'm quite a pretty boy. So if someone sees me in a field, they're going to take me. Like, it's going to be like an episode of Taken. <laughs> so that is day one of the Festive 500 complete. Solid day in the books, 125k. And day two, Christmas day. Now Santa came to me in the early hours of the morning in my sleep and said, don't do it, have a day off. Eat your body weight in chocolate Pantone, Heroes and Pringles. The big man spoke and that's what I've done. And I ticked off a grand total of zero kilometers that has not helped the cause but i did get out for a run that day so little wins but we are back on the serious training now for day three and like the plan is three and a half four hours but i've had a monumental cock up today and haven't worn enough layers when i first came out got absolutely soaked and although skin's waterproof this Lacole jacket certainly isn't. But I did manage to get all my efforts done, so I had four lots of five minutes at VO2 max. Absolute pure misery. I didn't film any of it, so I'll insert now the best replica I can find online. But most importantly, the reason why we're putting in the work now and not just sitting on the sofa wrapped up in a blanket like a pig's in blanket is because today is two weeks until national champs now i think it's a week ago i actually received the acceptance email that i'm in so it's got real now and i'd be lying if it went from like oh i'm excited to do it to i'm absolutely cacking my pants about doing it but it's motivated me to push through this absolute miserable weather and christmas period to just put my best efforts in because i want to go there and try and do it as good as i can do but honestly look at the weather it is miserable wet but on a plus note this ride has got me out of a walk with the rocket and the in-laws so every cloud and all <laughs> to wrap my bangers in but luckily Lee's dragged me out for a little bit more so I can tick off a few more kilometers he's the main man at Mossa and this is probably the first time I've been able to vlog when I'm on a ride with him because normally I'm actually chewing my handlebars and they're ripping my legs off he's gone easy on me for a second so I can fucking so I can do this bit before he rips my legs off again to add it's an absolute filthy ride as well and i've never known someone to say these are the conditions i love, love it. it's like love it love this grubby conditions i'm like i hate it and i do cross a roadie that loves it, love it. Mega little loop, thanks for that Lee. Top man G. Got a bit grippy down there then. Yeah. <laughs> that was a mega little loop with Lee and I'm definitely ready to smash some cake and chocolates now. Day number four of the festive 500 and I cheated a little bit today. I ended up on Zwift because to put it nicely it was absolutely beeping it down outside so i didn't want to get wet but today is pre-race ride so i just done like an hour and a half zone two on zwift spinning the legs out and i have definitely broken the back of this now i think we're over 310 kilometers something like that how's yours going rocket well i got a beanie on inside <laughs> how's your festive 500 going about 50 deep 
50k and the plan now is we're obviously racing cyclocross tomorrow so i won't be getting many miles in but it's recovery time nothing i do best we're going to sit on the sofa do what you're meant to do at christmas eat the chocolates that are down there we've got terry's celebrations biscuits i'm fueling like a champion this week but we are over halfway now on the festive 500 i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you in the next one for cyclocross race day